Welcome back to another video. Today's review is focused on iCarly season two, episode five, entitled iCupid. And the official synopsis of iCupid is Carly hires a matchmaker to help Spencer find someone to settle down with. But when he falls for the matchmaker instead, Carly must convince her that Spencer is her type. Freddy is ready to move out on his own, but it won't be easy. And before I give up my review, please like the video, subscribe or comment, or just watch the video and keep going on with your day. I felt like episode five was not a bad episode as the storylines that was in it was pretty interesting. Freddie trying to move out with Marissa still being Marissa, Spencer finding true love in all of the wrong places. So here we go. So the episode starts off with just a gang celebrating Brother Appreciation Day as Spencer has always been there for Carly ever since the beginning of the series when it all started back in 2007. Like Spencer has been a good influence on Carly and so they decide to celebrate Spencer. The celebration goes good at first until it becomes a little bit depressing when Spencer talks about never finding true love as he has always been helping Carly whenever she needs help and everything and it got a little bit depressing for Spencer to say the least. Pearl and Freddy's relationship is continuing to become bigger stronger than ever but at the same time Millicent for some reason is now starting to dislike her than ever before for whatever reason and Freddy tries to figure out exactly why is Millicent not liking Pearl as much? So then Carly decides that she wants to help Spencer find true love by hiring a famous talk show host, TV show host by the name of McKenna Donatucci, who was well known for his for her infamous red flags. Like if this person has red flags, cut them to the curb they're not worth it or whatever but it goes a little bit sideways because Spencer and McKenna somehow in some way they like each other they get together and they do the you know what meanwhile for some reason Marissa does not like Pearl either as she has a variety of different reasons as in why she thinks that Pearl isn't good for Freddie and it's always nice to see Marissa Benson in the series like it's always good to see her and one of the reasons why is because Pearl likes to eat bananas without peeling it and in my opinion I think that it's weird anyone that eats banana without peeling it like what's going on with that I don't know I just don't I just don't know when it comes with that they dislike her so much that Millicent and Pearl basically make an entire book of everything that is wrong with Pearl and Freddie in the meanwhile he's not trying to hear it he's not trying to listen as he feels as if like it is time for him to move it is time for him to move out on his own and he finds this huge nice apartment Millicent of course does not want to leave her grandmother but when she hears about the big rooms that it has She's like, I'll go as long as you dump Pearl. And when Marissa finds out about Freddie possibly moving, she gets all excited as well about her possibly going with him. But Freddie is like, you're not going and et cetera, et cetera. It's just a whole big mess to say the least. Meanwhile, McKenna reveals what caused her to like Spencer. And those two get it on quite some time until they decide to just keep it business keep it professional as she still trying to help Spencer find his true mate or whatever but Spencer he really likes McKenna as he wants to do anything to keep her attention towards him and so he decides to change his appearance with the help of Carly and according to McKenna that is the biggest red flag ever but Spencer he doesn't care about him and Carly's relationship as she tries to talk down on it for some reason but you can say that Spencer considers Carly more of like a daughter like and Carly considers him more of like a father type you could say and when that happens McKenna basically breaks down she reveals she has a lot of siblings that she's lost contact with because of how much of a scumbag that she is and 
you could say McKenna is a changed person. Freddie decides not to move out because his application was denied, but he does lays down a few different rules and regulations about Marissa and, and Pearl, about Marissa trying to accept Pearl as Freddie's new girlfriend. But as you know, Marissa is not going to let that happen as you saw the look she had about her having plans for Pearl, that sinister look. So the episode basically ends with just the entire game watching McKenna on TV where she basically roasts Carly and Harper is the next person on her TV show. So yeah. I felt like episode 5 was an interesting episode as Spencer trying to find true love of course goes a little bit sideways as always but it doesn't matter as Spencer he's always going to be Spencer because that's who he is. It was really nice to see Marissa Benson and her going back to that psycho mom that she was like she was in the original series as I don't know what plans she has for Pearl, but I could imagine it being not good. Talking about no fly list, it's going to be ugly, it's going to be funny, it's just going to be really bad for Pearl. But as for what is going to happen next with the gang, only time will tell, but I would say just thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.